It takes a tough man to wake up early in the morning, to pursue the finest of adventure, and the struggle to stay awake is real. Early in the morning, starting to get cold, winter is coming, 5 hours in total of sleep, knackered. Xinyang to Dalian. This is key. If you're a foreigner in a foreign place, <laughs> I'm telling you, always leave early. Allow yourself plenty of time for you to settle and just in case things like this happen, right? And then you have many options. You have time right, to hop into the option, right? So at the moment, the train station, I believe the subway is now open for now. So yeah, I'm just gonna hop in for the taxi. China has always been a kaleidoscope of culture and a mixture of ancient, modern and historical and European architecture. I mean seriously, the European left the mark here. Richard all grown richer while the poor all took a hit And his friends were all in jail and he lost all of his rights And the people were divided and the earth wasn't even fit for life And he wanted to go back but by then it was too late Because stupid followed evil and that was nowhere to escape Cause stupid followed evil there and uh, I would have come up from this side and straight into the station and that would have cost me only two yuan well you know and um, for the ride I can't complain and it's still ridiculously cheap it's like 14 yuan I paid right it's all right it's it's cool do you know you learn quickly here in China things here are done supremely perfect and look no further the station ignites such brilliant mind from the Chinese. And the railway station is a recipe of the brilliant Chinese mind. They are determined as ever to go big and go big or go home. Yes, you crave for Kentucky Fried Chicken, oh yeah, preciously in place. American fast food is popular here my friend, the Chinese love it. For now, I stick to the snack please. If you're a foreigner travelling by train, your passport is your ticket. Don't stress, don't sweat, everything's laid out here in China. Traveling via train, it's easy. I mean, it's as easy as drinking a water. Ladies 
The Alley Speed Railway in China is an engineering feat that continues to blow the mind, and every time I'm mesmerized by it. Refund, please. Refund. God damn. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have a list. This is refund, please. Refund. This thing is going fast. Look at it. It's going fast. I don't know why. We are catching up big time. Let's go. We're gonna pass you guys very soon. Come on. <laughs> it's like giving you a head start, and then now we're catching up so fast right now. This is amazing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Loser. Loser. Now on the way to Dalian. The bullet train is the way to go. Too fast, slow train can't keep up. The distance from Xi'an to Dalian is 2 hours 8 minutes. This thing you already know goes fast. And China continues to increase the benchmark when it comes to high speed rail. And they are always striving for excellence. 350 km top speed with cruise to Dalian. A modern post city in the Liandong Peninsula at the southern tip of China, Leone province. Safely arrive at Dalian Railway Station. From the railway station going to downtown as usual in China, it's easy as breeze. Because everything is well connected and easy to navigate. Oh, did I mention it's cheap? Yeah. It's a bright day and a beautiful day out, but the wind is strong in Dalian. I think I'm freezing, man. It is very cold, yeah? Slightly windy. At the same time, a bit of sunshine as well. Blue skies, not, not very polluted weather. I think it's a, it's a pleasant weather, honestly. Let's, let's put it that way. It's a coastal city here in Dalian. You have to wear a jacket here. It's freezing, mate. It's very freezing. I'm gonna make my way now to the custom, the Russian custom streets, right? Yeah, everything, even the KFC as well got that Russian filter. The architecture here, it's modern and then again, Russian feel and Chinese. It's a blend of modern Chinese and Russian. It takes a man to love a place with wind. It takes a man to love a place with strong wind and cold weather. Well, it's more like the team here. Hence why the Russian founded this place in 1898. And there is a street, and they call it the Russian Street. I blink for a moment, then I find myself back in Europe. Yeah, familiar architecture. Wait, am I really back in Europe? Because these are fantastically beautiful Russian relics. You know all the things that comes to mind whenever someone mentions Russia? When I was a boy, yes, I used to play with those little things, those Russian dolls. They're cute and tricky, miraculously tricky, or oh, magical, I mean magical. And what's so magical about Russia is they're exquisitely gorgeous women. I mean, gorgeous. 
see, all I know about Russia is they got nice architecture. Love it, well, I think it's exquisite. And uh, yeah, beautiful women. I mean, they're really, really beautiful. And uh, so it's, it's a bit of a strange thing though. It's like, I can't recognize myself anymore. Am I, in, am I still in China? Look at it behind me. And uh, the Russian field set. And of course, you've got the Chinese people there as well. It's wonderful, right? Cool mix. And uh, I can see the influence. It's still well and alive here in Russia. In Russia, <laughs> in China. Maybe the Russia everyone wants me not to visit. Maybe it's the place I will end up visiting in the future. But for now, my focus is on China. And this place, the Chinese flood here, to take a snappy picture and maybe end them posting on the Instagram rail I mean the Chinese version of Instagram and then claim they are in Russia yeah aunties and grannies having a good time as a place surely is a camp place I would advise you to come and visit nice what a gorgeous Chinese lady yeah, Kruska. I don't know if that makes any sense. Holy costume, isn't it? But anyways, going to Russia, love the music, you know, love the architecture, of course, love the ladies. I'm only going there for the women. That's <laughs> a bit sad, isn't it? You see, my first impression of Dalian has been superb. Everything I imagine and picture is all real. Now it's all clear to me, China is peaceful and prosperous. It's not just the bigger cities you know of are doing well. Even cities like this, and they are mega, are also doing extremely well. And here everyone go about and doing their things and having a good time. And if you're an outsider and you're looking from the outside, you're confused. I'm seeing two sides of China. Your side of China and the side of China commentator on the outside warn you about not to visit. Who to believe? Well, the answer is come here and see it yourself. their food and beautiful things all around and stumble into what looks like a Muslim food and everything on a stick I like and they're always exceptionally delicious. Listen, no matter what you see of China, you ain't gonna believe those on the outside and I'm not exhausting my energy to prove anything. This is a foreign land and I'm a foreigner in this place. I'm not forcing you to like me or validate me or subscribe to my channel because for those who watch my videos, the vast majority don't subscribe and I don't force no one to subscribe. My channel, my adventure. And if you're happy to stick along, then be my guest. Everything you see is real. Muslim food, yeah? Delicious stuff, right? So, I think this is going to be it for this chapter here. It's a, it's a okay sitting my favorite Italian but of course I think there's a lot to see but for now for this chapter I would say it's a cool city it's a mixture of oh there you go. Okay. thank you there we go that's my stick right there beef there as well and this still only cost me 15 and yeah this is the side of China I've never seen before and this continues to blow my mind and China is a place if you come here with an open mind you will love this place in an instance. Now going into the night market. Yeah, yeah, it's still bright. But inside, they call it a paradise of ultra food, ultra delicious stuff. But for now, see you in the next chapter.